These go to 11. You see this little friggin' dragon up here? These dragons symbolize whenever you're entering and leaving the city of London. So on this side, city of London. On this side of the dragon, we're leaving London. It's going to the West End. Has the UK got a finance curse? Is it a trick question? Because the UK doesn't have finance. The city of London has, and it's not part of the UK. Good answer. <laughs> it, it, Good answer. Easy. It's international, he's right. The city of London is outside the United Kingdom, do you know that? It's, it's really shocking. And it, therefore it's also not part of the EU, which explains... Uh, the, although it couldn't be part of the EU because you have to have democratic elections, and the city of London doesn't, right? It's, it's the banks that have the votes, right? Right. Per staff, you know, I the know, vote I never knew how, do you, how do you start yeah. unpicking this puzzle? I never knew. That's a very useful piece of information. And of course, it's not <laughs> part of the UK. It's a dangerous piece and of information. <laughs> and it's not part of the UK because the Queen is not allowed to enter without permission. She's not the sovereign, therefore it's not part of the UK. It's, you know, and of course that's since, you know, 1688. I have to make a note. Since the foreign invasion. <laughs> what do these dragons represent? Well, there's 13 of them. What do you think they represent? Boom, the 13 bloodlines of the ruling families that really run the world. By consent. Don't attempt anything without the gloves.